this rally, this movement, this growing nationwide consciousness raising is the result of the deliberate, stealthy stealing of our democracy. And to demand justice, we are here to demand an investigation. We are here to demand that they hold off certifying this election until we have the final results. Well, this, you know, this is what I want to be doing. It's, it's yeah. what I have to do, and I, yeah. I, would, I would die if I had to stop. And we need you it, so. to do that. I mean, you're the yeah. person here doing this, so yeah, well, we can help fund you to do Well, thank you. Oh. Yeah, well, you know, I wasn't really that politically active until this year. I really wasn't. That cost me a marriage. It cost me a marriage and a job. I've given everything this. Mm -mm. Yeah. Well, the kids are worth it. Yeah, yeah. Some days I wake up and say, how did I get into this mess? Um, I started attending the Joint Committee on Ballot Security hearings in February of this year. And uh, truthfully, I never paid much attention to electronic voting and e-voting issues ever before. I was one of the Americans asleep at the wheel. So we went to the hearings and they went on for weeks and uh, one or two days a week. So we would go to all of the hearings and I would sit there and I would listen to the testimony and everything I heard, um, the more I heard, of course, the more awake I became. And then I started doing my own research and I would be up in the middle of the night with the hair crawling on the back of my neck with the realization that our country was being stolen um, with stolen elections. And so through the education of the hearings and my own independent research, it became the only thing that I do. <laughs> it's, it's all I focus on now um, because I'm totally hooked and it's an obsessive compulsive thing now. I can't not do it. I have to be doing this. I wish I could do other things. <laughs> I miss my real life, but uh, <laughs> this is what I have to be doing right now. If people were aware, if the mass of people in this country knew what is going on, they would be up in arms. They would be calling their senators and their congresspeople, and they would be flying to Washington, D.C., and they would be lobbying and legislating, and they would be taking action because what is happening is appalling and egregious. And why aren't, uh, why aren't they doing this? Why haven't they heard? You know, the mass media is ignoring this issue. Um, the mass media has a blackout primarily on this issue. There are few exceptions. Keith Oberman is doing a wonderful job on MSNBC. But mass media generally is, is not touching this issue. And um, it's, it's a huge issue. It's huge. This goes to the very core of our country. It goes to the very basis of our democracy. And I think it scares a lot of people to death. The other thing that, that uh, is apparent fraud in this whole election are the exit polls. And the exit polls were enough in the Ukraine to overturn the election. And I fail to understand why the exit polls alone aren't enough to swing the results uh, and to, to require uh, a revote in Ohio. Um, Warren Matofsky is the premier exit poll expert in the world, and he's called upon to do exit polls all over the world to ensure fair elections. And any time his results deviate uh, past the normal deviation points in any other country, they know that there has been a fraudulent election. And um, the results in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Florida were way beyond normal standard deviations on exit polling, whereas most of the other states in, o in, the, in the country, they were fairly consistent. Why those three battleground states, the primary battleground states of the 2004 election, raises issues. Well, I'm always grateful to people like you who are covering this issue and who care and who take the time to document it because it's really important and um, I wish that there were more media involved but what you do is really important so thanks oh. well as you know there's a lot of moms involved in this yes you're there a are. Mom. I am a mom what, what, what would you say to the other moms um, I would say that if you have kids like mine that are 15 and 13 and uh, 5 <laughs> that you better be concerned about a draft and that's one of the, the huge, huge fears of, of the administration that's in place now, that they're warmongers. And they had no business going into Iraq. And they have no business 
uh, with their international agenda. And it's, it's really unfortunate that um, I think it's apparent that a draft is inevitable. And my kids aren't going to go. My kids aren't going to go until the Congress people and the Senators' kids go first. The ones who vote to go to war, my kids will go after their kids go, but not before. There is a uh, press uh, statement as, so, as of right now on the issue in our document. Oh, no, I don't know okay. if I'm allowed to. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Just to focus on Feinstein because, oh, you know, I was, we were just yeah. focusing more on Boxer. Yeah. Good morning, everybody, and thank you all for being here. For most of us, in the Senate and the House, we have spent our lives fighting for things we believe in. Always fighting to make our nation better. We have fought for social justice. We have fought for economic justice. We have fought for environmental justice. We have fought for criminal justice. Now we must have a new fight. The fight for electoral justice. Mr. President, the certificate of the electoral vote of the well-known and great state of Ohio seems to be regular in form and authentic. It appears therefrom that George W. Bush of the state of Texas received 20 votes for President Dick Cheney of the state of Wyoming received 20 votes for Vice President. For what purpose does the member from Ohio rise? I, Stephanie Tubbs Jones, a representative from the state of Ohio, and Senator Barbara Boxer, a senator from California, have objected to the counting of the electoral votes of the state of Ohio on the ground that they were not, under all the known circumstances, regularly given. We should show by our thoughts, our words, and our deeds that unity is what our country now needs. So let's all get together, let bitterness pass. I'll hug your elephant. You kiss my ass. <laughs> so thank you. I, uh, I'm glad we're all here to let everybody know we're not going to sit down. We're not going to shut up. We're not going away. We will be here. We will be fighting. We will be raising our voices until our votes count. We will be raising our voices until they can be heard when we go to polling places. We will be raising our voices until all African American citizens have the right to vote. Where did our country go? Where is the United States of America where democracy is the way that we rule this country? What happened to that? And I am here to thank Barbara Boxer for having balls.